So here we go. Welcome to the last game day of the season. And guess who I've got? Special guest, good old Heafy. Mark Heath is joining me. We're at Portland Road Town taking on Trotton Athletic for the deadest of dead rubbers. You said you wouldn't say that. Uh, but you've got to say it because it is. It's 11th versus 12th. We could finish 10th if Bolton lose. But how are you feeling, Heafy? Lovely sunshine. It's, it's a beautiful day, isn't it? It's going to be a huge crowd here. It just makes you think what could be when this club finally is in a game that actually means something at this, this time of the season, yep. what an event that will be. Because this is fantastic, isn't it? Sun shining down, loads of fans in here having a few drinks. Thanks to the guys holding the camera for us. We've, we've interrupted them and their drinks, so much appreciated. But yeah, good day. I mean, it's just a shame it doesn't mean anything. Yeah, it doesn't mean anything. But 26,000 fans for a League One game, that doesn't mean anything. But it's going to be an exciting day. Hopefully we'll see some goals. Let's get in some, some sights, the sounds and the action. I'll bring in the team news. Who's starting? Is Wes Burns back in the team? We shall see. Turnstile Blues, new addition out today, only a pound. So, Ify, we're inside Portman Road. The team news is out. And, uh, well, Macaulay Bond, is it his swan song? Um, he's starting. Any other names you want to mention? And um, it's the standard last game of the season. Who's going to stand out? Let's go. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I think Bon is the talking point because we don't know if he's going to be here next season. Such a good narrative around him. It's got a feeling, you know, that he, he might score today. And what a, that would be a, a nice problem then, wouldn't it, that he posed to Kieran McKenna and the team going into the summer. Obviously, Elkin Baggett starting. Yeah. We've been very impressed with him when he played at Rotherham. And also on the left, Matt Penny in for, for Dominic Thompson, who's not even on the bench. So you wonder if that really is it for, for Dominic Thompson. But for me, my interest is going to be focused on McCauley Bond today. Um, I don't know if we we'll get to see James Norwood. Obviously, he kind of said last night that he's going to be leaving the club by the look of it. So again, if he comes on, gets a goal or two, that could be very interesting. But for me, the man I'll be watching most today is McCauley Bond. How about you? I the same. Hopefully he scores in that Pack North you know, stand. It's going to be electric afternoon here at Portland Road. And um, yeah, bring it on. Let's get into the action. So George, the final game of the season, and what a way to end the season. A 4-0 win over Cholton, who were pretty much on the beach. Um, your thoughts, and yeah, what a way to end the season. Yeah, what a way to end the season. Why couldn't we play that more like throughout the season, to be perfect honest. Um, we looked, we just absolutely bossed it, didn't we, really? We just, we controlled the game, we looked dangerous for once. I was quite shocked. This is the most goals I've seen since town school all season. I didn't come to the 6-0 at Doncaster, unfortunately, but it's the best I've seen play all season. And, what a way to end the season. They just looked free. You know, you can tell they had nothing on them. They weren't faced for relegation or promotion. They looked free as anything but start off backs and what a goal. The pill behind me were saying that should we be signing him up? I'd tell you something. I think we should. That's a good backup. Or to come in, but he looked good. And then Burns. Oh Burns. He is on fire, isn't Burns, he? Burns baby, Burns, baby. We can't stop him, can we? Yeah. And uh, you tell you something, he's on the programme here, holding his little award. And he deserves that little yeah. award because he was brilliant today. And then Norwood at the end. Shame he's going, isn't it? Shame he's going. He's still had that year extension, not been triggered. But what a way to end his town career. But on the season as a whole, disappointment. But high moments, low moments. But I think this shows if we can play like this week in, week out, we're going to have no problem next season. But we just got to get it right. And will that happen? That's the big question. I'm now joined by good old Mark. And what a way to end the season, Mark. A 4 0 win. Your thoughts, your takeaways, when we go into the into the summer, it's a lot of excitement at town. Well, you know, we've caught up a few away games, the deadest of dead rubbers. We've referred to some of these games, but, you know, that's great. That's what we've been waiting for. You know, we've been waiting for Ipswich to show up, you know, put a team to the sword. Um, finally got that early goal, followed it up with a second, you know, it, it was a cracking game, absolutely cracking game. Um, and, you know, I, I'm just chuffing Norwood at the end. You know, we knew we would 
we knew Maka would would get the ovation coming off. We knew Walt Norwood with his announcement yesterday that he's moving on. And yeah, I'm I'm chuffed for the fella. Really am. Yeah. Really pleased he got uh, that it's goal. It's a good yeah. goal as well. Yeah, there's been a lot of good goals today, but that was you know a little tight angle and yeah, what a way to, to yeah. end the game as well. A well again to uh, yeah. Yep, so here we go now. We're into the <laughs> the off season. Now the speculation. Yeah. You guys will keep us uh, keep us on point as to what's uh, what's coming through and uh, who's coming in and uh, yeah, optimism will build again ready for the summer. Bring it on. Up next, I'm joined by good old Matt and Luke. I got that wrong there. At least said Jack, his twin brother, but luckily I didn't. Um, lads, I'm going to start with you, Matt. Yep. What a way to end the season, a 4 0 win. Yeah, I think it's kind of one of those performances where you say, you know, it was really good and it kind of shows the, the heights that the team could have hit. We've not seen it enough this season, but good way to send the fans home into the summer uh, on a high and hopefully we'll keep that building into the next year. Indeed. And Luke, what <laughs> goals? What goals, mate? Yeah, um, I think we got to see the best of best of us going forward. Burns, Burns a threat in many different ways, but obviously the pace over the top. I thought Bon, Bon made on a really lovely assist for for Burns a second, um, and then Norwood had to, he had to come on, had to score right in front of the North Stand, had to give us a uh, nice little parting gift, even if he did then run the ball straight out of play and fall over three minutes later. <laughs> but yeah, I think. Um, I think it was the best of us going forward. Um, it's a little, little bit ropey at times defensively, but better side might have punished us, but you can't really complain. 4-0, final day of the season. On to the next one. Indeed. Matt, yeah. season's over, um, but what's your main takeaway today going into the summer, going into next season? Hopefully, this time next year, we'll be fighting for something. Today, yeah. yeah. I think uh, me and Luke kind of spoke about this toward, towards the end of the game. Um, as much as... I personally think on the pitch you can say we've not lived up to what we what we wanted to achieve and and arguably what we should have achieved. Um, I think we're we're in good hands with McKenna on uh, at the helm. Um, I don't think this season's uh, tr or this summer's transfer window will be quite as frantic as as the last one, which is probably no bad thing. Um, and I suppose um, ultimately a, a little bit of stability, get that get that striker in, get that left wing back in. And I think we we could be a real force next season. We've we've seen it, you know, here today, Wickham away, Portsmouth away, that we can be a real sort of force in this division. But um, sadly, not enough. But yeah, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll we'll be a real real force next season. I think we will. Be. Yeah. And I think one final thing you've got to say, and you, you always say this, up the town, up the town, up the town, up the town. Up next, I'm joined by the man that is good old Bono, AK View from U2, AK Matt. And well, Bono is on the beach, but the town players were not on the beach. A 4 0 win today. Thoughts, my friend. What a way to end the season. Fantastic. Here's what you could have won. I mean, I think I predicted a 2 1. Wasn't expecting four goals, and I wasn't expecting us to play as well as we did. But what a way to end the season. Fills us all full of joy and hopefulness, and, you know, takes a little bit of that trepidation off this kind of <laughs> summer break. Who's going to stay? Who's going to go? Squad numbers, <laughs> kits, what beer are we going to have behind the cobbled, you know? But oh, I loved it, I loved it. I really enjoyed game day and yeah, it's just, I didn't know what to expect today. Did yeah. you? Not really, it's one of those at the end of the season, nothing to play for, what are you going to get? And I was hoping there was going to be goals. Thankfully, all of the goals came for town Yeah. Um, and the goal scorers, Backerson, what a goal. Wes Burns, Burns, very Burns, and James Norton at the end there. What, I was at, I had an amazing angle for his yeah, goal. Um, yeah. You as well, because you're in that. Because you're in front of me. Right there, and and, oh. It's nice for Norris to be able to sign off. I mean, disappointed that he didn't quite reach the promise and kind of the fanfare that, that was had when he, when he came in three seasons ago. But just a fantastic all round team performance. Really good to see Baggett. Really good to see Humphreys. And yeah, KVY, surprise kind of appearance a bit sad for JD to kind of finish the season kind of limping off like he did yeah. JD get well soon and um, yeah but I thought KVY did did absolutely brilliant and yeah it's hard to pick a player of the match today I mean well. kind of burns for the two goals but Morsi fantastic Selena Chalina he was fairly good as well Penny Matt Penny the best game for Ipswich Town if he plays like that we're not going to need a new left-sided player next season you heard it first kids so, it's, um, but there you go so it switch four Charlton nil I don't think Charlton were as bad as the, as the scoreline indicates but yeah but I thought I'd wear this because we're on the beach so yeah it's been a pleasure my friend thank you as always thanks Ross next up I'm joined by good old Peachy Chris 
Well, the Dead is the Dead Robbers, but a 4 0 win today. Your thoughts as ever, my friend. Who predicted 4 0? Who predicted 4 0? Oh, me. Nah, like I said on the uh, social in the week, like, it was either going to be the boring, boring nil nils, or we we're actually going to turn it on, win 4 0, and getting that early goal. Back in his first goal, that was, excuse me, that was bloody beautiful. I was obviously in the stand here, right behind it, just curved, top corner, lovely. Then we got the second goal quickly, and then that, that literally just killed the game for Charlton. I know they had a couple of chances second half, but we were bloody awesome yeah. for once. I bloody enjoyed that. <laughs> really yeah. enjoyed that. 26,000 in attendance. Yeah. Um, getting them early goals, I think, just sort of set the tone for the afternoon. And, you know, there's some big talking points. Is that Macaulay Bond's final game? James Norwood scoring, I think, coming off the bench. And I think yeah. for him to sort of finish his town career with a goal and what a goal it was as well. Oh yeah, Norwood, <laughs> typical Norwood, like, you know, tightest of angles, great finish. On Bond though, it's like, I was willing to get a goal. There's one bit in the second half where Burns come through, he delayed the pass by a couple of seconds, it's kind of got back, but, but like Bond just, as, you know, he's a town boy, loving the bits, but it's, like, it's great. It's such a Jack and Hyde season, first half season, goals, 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 goals. This, it's not like the luck, I don't think, so much, some of it, this is not the luck, but, yeah, I think personally I'd just let him go back to QPR and go from there, but still love him. Still, yeah. up, still our boy anyway. Oh, when our he boy. came off the pitch, he kissed the badge. Of course he does. It was, he, it was, basically, he is living our dream out there. Like, yeah. you know, all of us would love to be on that pitch. I know I would. I wouldn't be any good, but I'd love to be on that pitch <laughs> trying for this, you know, for this team. Yeah, uh, yeah. bless his heart. Very good, go. good luck to him. Definitely. And Chris, one final word before we finish the season on a high. Go ahead, my friend. I think I said on the social, my main thing, I know obviously we expect to be here this time of the season, you know, playoffs, maybe promotion, but it's more important just being back at football. Lovely, as I said, the I follow season and like, yeah, obviously all the COVID and all that. It's just great being back with friends, seeing old friends, meeting new friends. That's what football's about. Like I say, one minute, you, one game, you love football like today. The next game, you hate it and you don't know, want to see it again. But for me, just being back at football, seeing everyone, being back together, 26,000 again today. It's magical. That's what football's all about, in my opinion. Up next, I'm joined by Francine, and well, what a way to end the season. 4 0 against Cholton. Thoughts as ever? It was an easy, it was an easy win. They, they didn't really come close to us at all. Um, they, I think it was like a training game at times, I think. Um, we didn't have to get our second, once we got the 2 0, we took the pressure off. We didn't need to, we didn't need to keep going at it, uh, pressing as hard because they, they weren't getting near us. Um, that goal by Backington, <laughs> um, I did find it amusing that every time he got the ball near the box, it was, shoot! And he was like, no, that's not happening again. I <laughs> um, think, I'm glad, glad Norwood got a goal. Um, We're getting distracted. Um, Carry on. I would have liked to see Bond score as well because it looks like the way he went off, it looked like he's not staying. That was quite yeah. emotional. But I'm very glad Nord got his goal. And it was a great goal. Ooh. What an angle. What a score from that angle. Um, and a great ball by Humphreys, um, who came on and looked very assured. I'm assuming he's 18 and he's not strong. He doesn't look physically as, um, very well built, but he was very assured in there. Um, Baggett, you know, didn't look out of place considering it's the biggest crowd he's probably played in front of. Um, so yeah, Burns again, awesome. You just gotta love him, haven't you? Yeah, you do. Um, so I've just done my trying to do my trying to pick my four for a player of the match vote was difficult because there wasn't a bad performance out there. Um, but yeah, roll on next season. It's looking con feeling confident right now. Yeah, roll on next season, Francine. Thank you as ever and. Keep up the great work with Rainbow Tractors as well. Thank you. Bring it on. I'm now joined by the man that is good old Matt Macon. Uh, Turnstile Blues, how'd they get on? And um, thoughts on today's game, of course. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, Turnstile Blues, another pretty much sellout. Thank you, everybody who came and found us before the game and bought one. Great, hope you enjoyed it. Well, that was, um, I wasn't expecting that, to be honest, in the deadest of dead rubbers. 26,000 people in the ground, a 4 0 victory, you know, it was um, very much uh, end of term, the teachers that you bring board games in kind of feel to uh, today's game. I um, thought we played with a little bit more freedom than the last few games, certainly. Um, I was right behind, uh, right behind uh, Backington's goal. Well, behind the goal for Backington's goal, he hit that quite nicely. I think actually the way it sort of curled into the top corner. At first, I was thinking the oh, keeper should be doing better there. 
But um, I think it's just come away from him a bit, and he's not getting to that. Um, great to see. Wesley Burns on fire again, you know, the last couple of games I've watched, he's, he's been contained a little bit, so had that little bit of freedom, particularly when JD was still on the pitch, he did, up until he had that little knot, he, he was doing really well. Um, I thought, shame for Bon, I thought he was, I was hoping he'd get a goal today, he actually probably, I thought he looked better today than he did when he came, when he was playing against Wigan the other week, um, but that wasn't to be, and uh, and then Norwood's come on and, and signed off, so it seems with um, what seems to be a nice finish. I'm looking forward to watching that one back again as I was wrong end of the stadium to fully appreciate that. But yeah, um, I still think there's a real sort of good vibe around the grounds today, before the match, during the match, and even after the match. I've I've just queued up and sort of spent some of my team card points in the shop. And you know, I've probably spent about a quarter of an hour in the queue. It's rammed. They actually having to let people in as people are coming out, you know. Um, I've, I've still got a really good feeling about next season and this club and what we're going to do on and off the pitch. So, uh, nice to go out. Like I said, on Fan Social on Thursday night wanted us to go out with a bang, and we have. We did. Yeah, so come on, you Blues, and here we go. 2022-2023, it's going to be our year. Well, Mike, what a way to end the season. It's been a pleasure with you outside all these grounds. Where's Mark? On. Oh, yeah, where's Mark? Do a ago. Oh, he's gone, but you've got me and Mike to, to talk about today's game. Um, thoughts, my friend, what a way to end the season. It, what a way to end the season. Yeah, I didn't get here till half time. Ooh. <laughs> Why is that? Yeah, like? <laughs> I just didn't realise it was three o'clock kickoff for some reason. I just, I just um, calmly sort of like went to Starbucks, got me a coffee and that, driving down the uh, A14, you know, like I do, bimble at 55 mile an hour. Um, and then I put the radio on and started listening to some commentary. I got here for half time though. I saw two goals. Saw but two that's goals. the season for me, I suppose. Uh, it's typical, isn't it? It's typical that we, we, we go out on a high and these, these players show what they, they can really do, yet, you know, Norwood especially in that lot, he's, he's now leaving. It seems a bit weird. It's been an up and down season, hasn't it? It really has. Fine margins. Just, just real fine margins where teams that have played against us have, have uh, managed to score that goal that's just ruined it yeah. on their first attack or, or on the minimal attacks that they had. They seem to just get that goal and, and it's just all these drop points has just accumulated. And it has oh. been 11th in this, and that. Yeah. We're still 11th, yeah? I think so. Bolton won, didn't they? Or, well, I don't know, I haven't seen the scores. I haven't but. seen the scores, but... Come on, we, we, we've got the highest wage in the bit in nearly 10 million yeah. a year wage bill just behind Sheffield Wednesday. We should be doing better than 11th. Yeah. Well, what I thought, you know, at half time, I thought what could have been, you know, this could have been a game where, you know, we could be playing for something, but we're not. And it's just what what could have been, and but then positive yeah. is going to next season. It's a weird, isn't it? It's a very positive yet positive season, but um, it's an absolute. Disgrace that we're eleventh. <laughs> it's just like we can't even finish in the top top eight or top six. Yeah, it's not good. Um, going to be Jesus. the fourth season in yeah. League One. Um, what are you looking forward to next season? And I'm looking forward to the fifth season, and then um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, 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 some fans. I do worry actually that um, well, it's down to McKenna now, and yeah. he's going to pick some. He's going to get the guys that he believes in. Um, I've heard rumours that there's um, player, there's two already in talks that uh, he's already trained in the past. So I don't know, don't know how accurate that is. He's obviously players that he's going to believe in, and we'll see what next season brings. But it's not a walk in the park, is it? In this league, but we have to, we have to be competitive next season. We have to be in the top six. If we get off to a bad start, you know what it's like. And these American owners as well. You saw Rufus, how yeah. saw how quickly the, the, they pulled the trigger on Cook, and how shocked we were at that Charlton game. Yeah. Bloom was blowing his top and that lot. I think and that's the biggest I moment think of the game. Was though, just, yeah. yeah, it was like why? Because we, we see that the players were even shocked as to why. You know, how how has Cook got fired? You know what I mean? Like, really? I've never seen a manager go out of Ipswich before the fans wanted him out. Yeah. <laughs> So it was just crazy, yeah. But it, obviously, it, it, we've got McKenna in, and it's and been a breath of fresh air. And I do honestly believe, you know, he put up a, a really good fight. We were, we were averaging over two points per game. 
Um, and it was just like the killer goals that I was talking about at, at uh, Morecambe and places where, yeah, we just, that Oxford game. That Oxford, we, we went into that Oxford game thinking that here's one of the top six. If we beat these, then we've got a good chance of slipping into the playoffs. They were fourth at the time. They're now out of the playoffs. And um, if we'd have picked up the three points there, the momentum would have carried on. And I think there'd have been a bit more intensity yeah. going on into the final games. But that that killer goal at the end sort of like took it. At, uh, Oxford won it. I said Charlton. Sorry. At the Oxford game. And that's That just took the wind out of our sails, I think. And I think some of the players actually admitted then that the season was over. And, you know, if you, if you haven't got anything to fight for, if you really can't believe that you're going to finish in the top six, you, you, you lose a little bit of performance, don't you? Yeah. You lose about you lose that extra ten percent, and yeah, and and you've seen that in the last couple of games, it's, it's sort of tailed off. Yeah, sad really. I do believe that if if we'd have got that result at Oxford, it would be a different story. But there's plenty more games that we've let let ourselves down in there. Yeah, we'll bring right. we'll bring loads of different content doing this season review and all that stuff. But Mike. Mm. Let's send off to all the, the viewers, all the listeners, um, what do you want to say? What do I want to say? I think I've said enough, haven't I? <laughs> Very true, but yeah. yeah. Um, well, just, you know, I, I, keep your faith. Uh, let's get, it's good to see 25,000 in the ground. Maybe it could become a norm. 26, but. Well, I couldn't tell because I'd taken the scoreboard down. <laughs> yeah, that one over there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we've got a lot of changes next season. Let's hope we get off to a good start. And, um, so, you know, if we could get ourselves cemented in the top six, then it's going to be a good season. Bring it on. Bring it on.